it is day 18 of my Cosmo on Peel and my skin is looking pretty amazing. I think that almost all of the melasma and hyperpigmentation is gone. Today's video is an update to share with you all of the sunscreens that I have been using with my Cosmo on Peel. I'm still a little bit pink and I did put some skincare on this morning so my face is very dewy and glowy. So this is not what my skin looks like when I wake up. I didn't wash off my face from last night but I just put on some balm and some sunscreen because my face was just feeling on fire and really dry so I just wanted to give it some relief before I put the peel on in probably like an hour. The Cosmolon peel does come with an SPF 50 to use at home however I can't stand the scent of it so I threw it away. I don't understand why they would give you a scented product to use when your skin is feeling so raw and so dry and so sensitive, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So I have some clean, fragrance-free sunscreens here. You want it to be mineral, you want it to be tinted. And so this one I've been using, I'm obsessed. It's my favorite one. It's a mineral sunscreen from Bloom Effects. It's the Tulip Dew Vitamins and Mineral SPF 50, and it is zinc oxide 12%. The reason why you want physical sunscreen or mineral sunscreen is that you want the sunscreen to sit on your skin and block out any sun. As opposed to chemical sunscreen, it's going to absorb into your skin. You don't want to use that type of sunscreen while you're doing a chemical peel. And it's important that it's tinted so that you get extra protection from the sun because if you have melasma, you know how stubborn it is. I'm always wearing my sun shield while I'm outside. There are moments where I lift up my sun shield or I take it off for a second and I wanna make sure that my skin is always protected. And also I'm sitting here in my bedroom, there is sunlight coming in. So I just am always wearing sunscreen anytime during the day. And this is why peel season is generally in the winter months because it gets dark around 4.45 and then you don't have to worry about exposure to the sun and wearing your shield and putting on your sunscreen because it gets dark really early. So this one I love because it's really, really hydrating and you can see I'm wearing it now. It just gives a nice glow and it just feels so soothing and hydrating on my skin. It's my top pick. And the second one is one that my dermatologist recommended. It's Tizo 3. It's SPF 40, which she said is okay as long as I reapply it every couple hours. It's titanium dioxide 8% and zinc oxide 3.8%. She said that zinc oxide is really important when I'm recovering from a peel. I like it because it's a primer sunscreen and it makes my skin look less wet and I look more like I'm wearing makeup and less like I'm wearing a balm on my face. And the last one that I've been loving is by Naked Sundays. This is an Australian brand. This is SPF 50 plus. It's zinc oxide 22.75%. It's thick and hydrating and I just feel really protected when I wear this and it gives me more of a matte look but not as matte as this. So I like that there's different formulas. This one is ultra glowy. This one is more on the matte side. And then this one is the most matte because it's a primer. But my favorite for sure is this one, especially since that dewy glowy look is in. So this one is really on trend. Let me know what your favorite sunscreens are when you're recovering from a peel. Drop them in the comments so that we can share with the community.